All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, more turrets. Shit. Clever bastards. Oi, stay away from King. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. King's in trouble. I'm in trouble. What the hell? Uh-oh. King might be about to die. In fact, I think King is about to die. Ah, shit, King! God damn it. Vengeance! Ow. I might die here. Holy crap. Ow. Oh boy. Well. Let's try that again with less dying. Okay, this time we should be much better. Why are you all going to for king? Seriously, don't. Oh, come on. Seriously? Stop stunning me. King's about to die. He wouldn't even run. God damn it. This is ridiculous. God damn it. You know what? Much as I may want to, I'm going to hold on f off for a second here and restart because I have an idea of how this could go much better. And I don't want to remake King, I admit. Not yet, anyway. All right. Now, this time, we charge across and don't even get in range of those two. This way, we only have to deal with the one. Just like this. There we go. Now, we can take care of these. With minimal issues. Almost. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, that may have been cheap that I reloaded like that, but you know what? I did not want to lose King yet. Okay, now, who the hell are you? There is a man hiding in this clearing. He looks like he've been, he has been sent out here for a while. He is unwashed and painfully skinny. He is surrounded by the tools of his trade. The equipment... the. There is a man hiding in this clearing. He looks like he has been out here for a while. He is unwashed and painfully skinny. He is surrounded by the tools of his trade, the equipment he used to place the mines you encountered back down the path. When he sees you, he raises his hands. You note that they are surrounded by a faint red glow. I know you. I heard you were coming, just before I fled. Then I knew you would be sent to hunt me. As you try to figure out what he's talking about, he pulls down the front of his robe. You can see on his chest the telltale lump left by Rawl's control tools. I am Balm, and I will stay free. I work for Rawl no longer. I can't let a fellow servant escape and let him know where I am. I apologize, but you must die. You really think that it is right to kill me? I will be freeing you from all with service. I will be doing you a favor. How did you learn about me? Trahan found me in Paracalia and told me that I had to watch you. But I had already had enough. I fled. Actually, I'd rather that be we both survive this meeting. Balm doesn't seem relieved. I will not be hunted anymore. Now that one of Rawl's servants has seen where I am, Rawl will pull the information from you and the hunt will begin again. I must find a new hiding space and make new defenses. If you've found me, others can too, but I can't let you say that you have seen me. I will go. After you die. I don't obey Rawl anymore. You are free to go. You try to convince Balm that you are not working for Rawl. You manage to be convincing enough. He nods. I have committed enough crimes for Rawl. I will not kill another. Not when there is a chance that I don't have to. I will let you live, and I must hope that you are telling the truth. I will stay here no longer. I must stay free. 
I will go now. If Rawal is allowed to command me again, I will die. He grabs some food and clothes and runs from the clearing. That's fine with it by me. I have no problems with you surviving. Frankly, I hold no love for Rawal myself. So those probably go to that exit there. And I saw that podling queen in that corner there. I don't want to attack the podling queen until we kill the other podlings first, though. Otherwise, it could call for assistance, and that is not going to be good. We may need to take a look in this building, because over there is a bit too close to the podlings, I think, anyway. Okay, let me see if I can look in here first. I can. Uh, a couple, uh, couple iron bars I can take, at least. Oh! Shit! It's an assault! An ambush! Did not see this coming. Well, at the very least, my creations can stay uncursed. Long enough, I think. Holy crap! This is going to be very bad. Okay. Armored podling. That's not too bad, but... Oh god, the slow. Not the slow. This is gonna be bad. Oh, and they're attacking from the other side, too. Damn it, I should not have gone in there so fast. This is bad. This is very bad. I think I might be about to die. Yeah, I'm getting surrounded on all sides. I should have taken out those other podlings first. Well, this is terrible. Jeez, those things are strong. And we are going to die. Why didn't I expect an ambush like this? There goes King, and there goes me. Well, great. Okay, this time we need to kill out, kill these three podlings down here first. Probably should have blessed myself first so I could resist some of the curse, but too late now. Well, one of them is running at least. And dead. Excellent. Haha. -ha. That one's definitely gonna die. Die, you! There we go. Another one dead. Now for this one. Come on, come on. Oi, you! You are supposed to die. You take care of that. And you do that. There you go. Ha! Huh, now that one's running. Perfect! They are cowardly. But fortunately, they are now all dead. Heesh. Oh. Couple, uh, these. Let's see, what is this? Someone was salvaging bits of equipment from this old, rusty piece of shaper equipment. He or she was doing this a safe distance from the nearby house. Yeah, probably because said house was an ambush point. Well, we know that there's, uh, various mines in here that I think we can disarm. Yeah, it looks like it. And it's getting us... Hey, we leveled up! Like, oh no. Yeah, we leveled up again! Awesome! Very awesome! Huh. Hmm... Um... Yeah... I want to, but part of me says it's a bad idea. Part of me says I should improve my shaping skills a bit. Because I'm going to likely get new creations soon. Mm. What creations can I create? What, uh... Oh, it's under... C abilities here. Let's see. Artillivlish, Glach... Glach. Drake. Uh, 
I have a feeling I'm going to get the ability to make new creations in the next... in Paracalia, so I'm actually gonna save up. <laughs> Call me crazy. More mines. Yeah, I'll save up for now. So many mines! There we go. Perfect. Now, almost through here. All we need to do now is kill the remaining podling. And, uh... Yeah, kill the remaining podlings and... Survive the assault in the house. Let's start with the podling queen over here. Hello. Focus on the assault podling first. That way we'll only get a little slowed. I don't know what the queen does. A charm! Oh my. No, I didn't want you to run over there. Ah, oh, crap. And now everyone's slowed. Damn it. Can't see target. He's right there. Good god. There we go. That one's dead. That just leaves the queen. I resisted the charm effect. And I will keep my creations far from it, because I do not want them charmed. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to kill it, though. Ow! Do you mind? I'm trying to kill you. And the queen shall die. No more podlings, whatever the hell these things were. What were the purpose of these things, anyway? Are they just combat creations of some sort? There we go. Dead. Uh, didn't really drop anything, unfortunate. Let's see, coins, animal skin, girdle of genius. Huh. Um, you know what, we can use that, I think. It's better than the one we got, though if we get a girdle of strength, I'm probably gonna take that instead. That glow speed bot. Right. A heal to myself, another heal to myself. Oh hey boy. And now first There we go. Easy and fast way to take care of that. Now all that remains is this house in here. And we know that they are going to come in. There they are! Hello! You two stay out there. Ah! How did it see me? Oh, right. It's area based on where I am. <sighs> Great. The area of effect is centered on a target. It doesn't matter if they can see me or not. It only matters if I can see my creations and are in range of them. That's all that matters. Damn it. All this slowing. We should have prepared better, damn it. Son of a bitch. That one's dead. That one is still alive, damn it. And it's attacking. God damn it, I thought it would have been scared and run off. No, these are strong. Oh, that one died at least. Uh, oh boy. Uh, oh, I wanted you to use that and that. Well, that removed some of that, but not too much. All right, focus up there. You couldn't get up there. God damn it. Of course, now I'm putting my creations in range of these other guys. This is gonna be rough. Oh, ooh, I can attack twice. Good. Actually, I should have used the speed spores when I went in there. Uh-oh. Ah, king! Well, this is not good. Frankly, I think I could have done this better. Not likely to leave, now that I think about it. Or survive, I mean. No, we are probably about to die. And there I go. Okay. 
This time, let's prep a bit more. Fortunately, I know exactly what we can do. Let's see. That. Ah! Damn it, they saw us! Okay. Stay back. Ha! Ah! Hello! And we're all cursed. Damn it, that, that happened fast. Fine. Speed spores, so we can. And this. There we are. Oh, attack again. There we go. And here come the rest. Ah, we are still sped up. Excellent. We're cursed. But we're still sped up. That's good enough, I think. Haha! -ha! Okay, this is gonna work. What the? Oh, uh, the others are around the corner, aren't they? Oh, shit! I just realized we're almost dead. Ah, uh, boy. Uh, where's the... Major healing spores definitely need them. You stay back. If we can get them to focus on me and not attack my creations, I think we'll be fine. Okay. You two stay back for now. I do not want them to attack, to hurt you guys again. Uh, use one of those. I need more pods. You should be out of range over there. Yeah, you're out of range over there. That's good. Ooh. Interesting. Dropped a blessing crystal. Okay. Stay out of range back there, and you should be fine. Okay, you should be able to hurt it again. There we go. Now for this one. We got this, we got this. Ow. Yeah, we can kill it, we can kill it. Oh, come on, die from the poison already! Fine. You go kill that one. My creations will take care of the remainder. And... There we go! We survived! Holy hell, that was rough. Okay. Blessing Crystal. That can go into a storage somewhere. Now. We can take these iron bars. And what the hell is in here? Let's see. We got Rune Ruby! Robe we don't need. Lovely crystal. Coins. Major healing spores. Curing spores. And in here... Shaper equipment, shaper equipment, caliper scales. Nothing we really need from that. This jug contains scraps of refuse, dried out and covered with dust. Nobody has been here for in here for weeks at least. Picking through it, you notice an interesting note on a scrap of paper. A baton may be infused with speed spores, and the energy within may be amplified and expended later. All that is required for the binding is the fang of a... The rest of the writing is obscured by a stain. Oop, I forgot to actually save that recipe. There we are. Huh. Well, that was interesting. All that for some decent loot and some other things. Oh, this is good. Let's, uh... I think now we can go and, uh, heal up. Yeah. Alright. And that's the end of that. And I got a crap ton of essence from, uh from the boosts I happened to get before. Enough that I can make my creations incredibly strong. Hell, the strength of King and Shuriken are both almost maxed out. This is incredible. I honestly can't wait at this point for the next tier of creations that we're gonna get. They are going to be so strong and so good. Theoretically, I could make a, crea make a third creation as strong as the other two, but nah. I think I'm fine with what we got now. So, uh, next episode, we'll try and find our way further towards Paracalia. Till then, I am Chesterk44, that is E, King, and Shuriken. This has been a Gene Forge 5 Let's Play, and I will see you all next time.